film series is about water quality monitoring. We're on Glen Lake now in Leelanau County, and this is an example of a lake that is monitored by several governmental agencies and the Lake Association. As a riparian, you can privately monitor your own water quality, and this method simply involves placing a rock in the water and watching for algae growth. Here on this portion of the shoreline, we have some rocks that are covered in algae. This algae is dark, stringy, and it's dry to the touch. This is sort of like a canary in a coal mine, and it's showing us that there's some extra phosphorus in the water. It may be from natural causes or it may be from problems up on the land. Here's an example of groundwater springs that are seeping into the lake. This shows us that the algae on the rocks may be from natural causes and there may be no need for alarm. Here we have a shoreline that is completely free of rocks. It's only sand. This makes it difficult to monitor for pollution because the algae will not grow unless there are rocks. If you have a very long shoreline or you'd like to monitor your neighbor's property, you can place these melon-sized rocks on the edge of your property and in the middle to monitor for Clodophora growth. If you notice that there is Clodophora growing, then you should contact your local water quality group. As you can see, this shoreline is lined with algae-free rocks. The backdrop is a natural green belt, so this tells us that the green belt is probably helping to remove phosphorus from entering the water and it's keeping a nice clean shoreline free of pollutants. This is a green belt perfectly designed by nature. It offers a variety of wildflowers and grasses. Some examples of these are the jewelweed with the orange flowers, the asters, in the distance we have Canadian goldenrod, and in my hand is a beautifully scented mint. And this green bow also has several shrubs and trees growing naturally as well. One cause of nutrient loading is the combination of erosion and runoff into the lake. If you find this happening at your water's edge, you should repair the problem immediately or have the landscaper do it. Another important way for keeping pollutants out of your lakes, rivers, and streams is to use a phosphate-free laundry detergent. This particular brand is Celestial Soap, and as you see here, it contains no phosphorus. By controlling erosion and reducing phosphorus loading in the lake, you can have beautiful, clean water like you see here.